on my screen is the network topology where I have two uh, Linux machine. One is the Ubuntu. Left hand side, on the right hand side, I have CentOS. Both of them have the uh, strong span package installed and everything is ready. So the PRIP for the VPN is 192.168.0.2 from Ubuntu's uh, side. And on CentOS, it is going to be 192.168.0.190. And the network behind Ubuntu is 10.10.10.0.24. And the network behind sent OS is 14140.40.24. The IP address configured on ETH1 on Ubuntu is 10.10.10.2. 10, 10, 10. And the IP address configured on sent OS ETH1 is 14140.40.190. I do not have any host here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to initiate the ping from this IP to this IP through VPN. So that is going to be the last step. So let's uh, get started with the configuration. And if you're interested in the configuration of strongman on centos and on ubuntu machine well you can check out my previous videos on the same i'll 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 keep the link in the description or maybe you can uh, check the video on my screen Left hand side is the Ubuntu server. Right hand side is the CentOS. So let me show you the configuration. So this is 192.168.0.2. The other end is 192.168.0.190. And these two IPs are the Pure IPs for the IPsec VPN. And the inside network is going to be 10.10.10.0. 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10.10.10.2 configured on ETH1. And on ETH1 on the other end is 14.140.40.90.190. ,140, so let's get started. First of all, I will check out the configuration file and see if there is any configuration or not. So on the Ubuntu machine, you can get the configuration file inside the EDC. So first we'll set the secret. I guess I already have the secret configured. So you will have to configure the secret here. 192.168.0.2, which is Ubuntu's IP, and 192.168.0.190, which is the CentOS IP. And the pre-shared key is password. Let's try to configure the same on the other end. Let us see if there is any configuration or not. So the other end will have little changes to the directories.
Okay, so here we don't have the configuration. I have actually copied the configuration to avoid any delay. Let us try to append the lines here. So you can see here the IP address. Now let's try to uh, configure the IPsec config phase one and phase two. Okay, so we do not have the configuration here. Let's try to check on the other end. Here also we don't have the configuration. So this is the sample configuration. Let's try to copy this to the actual file, which is IPsec config. Let us append this to the IPsec config. So this is the name of the connection, Ubuntu to CentOS. And authentication by a secret pre-shared key. Default. So the left ID is the Ubuntu's uh, peer IP, which is 192.168.0.2. And the left subnet is uh, Ubuntu's internal network, which is 10.10.10.0.24. 10, 10, and similarly, the right ID is 192.168.0.190 and right subnet is 14.140.40.0 slash 24. So I'm going to copy everything to avoid any delay. So you can see the inside network and the outside and the other ends the inside network, the peer IPs. And this is the phase one proposal, which is AES-256 SHA-2. This is group two for phase one. This is group, this is phase two proposal, ESP, AES-256 SHA-2. Key exchange protocol is Ike version one. Ike lifetime is one hour, phase one. This is phase two's uh, lifetime, eight hours. This is the DPD delay, which is 30 second. DPD timeout is 120 second. And just to keep the phase one active. Let us try to copy the same to this particular file. So you can see left ID is going to be uh, the CentOS peer IP. You have to uh, take into consideration your end first, which is your, I mean, your end will obviously be the left hand side. So left ID is going to be 192.168.0.190. Left subnet is the inside network 14.140.40.0 slash 24. Right is going to be the other end, 02. And the right subnet is going to be the 10.10.10.0 slash 24. 
matching proposals, matching DPD configuration. So now we have the complete configuration. Let us try to start the IPsec. On Ubuntu, it is going to be IPsec. IPsec start, which is already running. On the CentOS, it is going to be strong swan start. And this is, uh, by the way, the CentOS 7. And the Ubuntu is 20.04. Not sure if uh, the same command IPsec is available on CentOS 8. But uh, it is not available on this particular package that I have installed. Okay, I'm on. So you can see here the uh, strong swan version. Let us try to check the version here. So you can see here, these are two different versions of uh, strong span on these two distribution. Okay, moving forward, let us try to reload it one more time. Let us try to reload the configuration. Okay, here it is going to be IPsec. So this is to reload the configuration. Now we can check the status. Before uh, that, we can try adding the IP table entries to avoid any uh, blocking by our uh, Linux firewall. So right now I do not have any uh, rules here. Let me try to put the rules here. Input is going to be, source is going to be this, because input is going to be the ESP packet for uh, the Ubuntu server. Destination is going to be, okay. Source is going to be 190, destination is going to be dot two. And then you can say accept. So you can see here, we have created the rule. Let us try to create one other rule inside the output chain and the output chain is going to be for the internal network to the remote sites uh, internal network. 
Mm, let us try to put the source as the IP address configured on eat one, which is and the destination is going to be 14140490 you can already see the packet hitting the rule but you do not have packet here because we have not initiated the traffic let us try to check the status of the ipsec you can see here it is active let us try to check on the other end You can see the information here, the SPI values. We can get more details inside. Status all and the name of the connection which is this similarly on the other end we can do the same thing and do status all and we can use the connection name so you can see input byte zero Output byte zero. This is the encrypted and the decrypted packet in VPN. These are the proxy ID or the interesting traffic from the two subnet behind the firewall. Let us try to initiate some ping. Let us try to create the IP table rules to allow the traffic on center it. Okay, so the IP table entries are available right now. Okay, so on the CentOS machine, I replaced uh, the rule number one in uh, input chain with the one that we added at the at the end of the table, just to see that there is no blocking. And if we check the output chain, there is already a rule there. So I deleted the one that we added in the last step. So there is already a rule.
that uh, allows the traffic out. But if you want to uh, make sure that uh, the traffic is actually moving out and you have the track of uh, packets and bytes, then you can add it. Here, like this. And then put the number one so that you can replace the rule one. Just in case you do not have, do not have the entry. And... Uh, you can put source as 14, 140, 40, 190. Destination is going to be 10.10.10.2. .10 .10 okay. Except now if you check the rule, you should see the one that you have created at the top. So uh, we can try pinging the IP. And we can try pinging it from the other end as well. So both the uh, IPs are reachable through the VPN. To make sure that the traffic is uh, through the VPN, we can try one more thing. We can check the status and we can uh, check the SPI value in and out. And then we can initiate some traffic and capture it on the other end. Let's try to set the TCP DOM and let's try to initiate some traffic here. So you can see here, So the incoming uh, traffic is having the SPI CF08PC65, which is the inbound SPI. And in the same way, if you if you go ahead and try to set the TCP dump there, and when you try to initiate some ping from this end, we should see the same result there and you can see here the spi value is cadc6481 which is the outbound spi from this end and you can check the status as well here it is going to be inbound for uh, this particular end because this is uh, in reverse manner on each end that's all in this video if you have any question do leave them in the comment section and please do not forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the like button see you in the next one bye